It's Virgin Radio, and look who it is, John McClure, Reverend and, and the Makers are in the building and playing live. Good evening, Tim. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well, mate. Thanks, pal. Very well. I've, I've had to sit down because I just don't want to... In any other room, I would feel relatively tall. Yeah, but you're a big slice. I feel like we're like Righteous Brothers. Like we're going to do a little you know, 60s duet number. Oh, or something. You've ruined the surprise now. Uh, Alps Tricks album number six, mm. very close to coming out. Amazing, like the like. There's not been a bad review. Every review loves it. Fans love it. Selling more than last one. Tickets are doing well. I enjoyed making it. Life's good. Mm. You have brought the the missus to play the live tunes today. You left mm. her at home though when you were recording the record. We did, unfortunately. She's like me and Laura were in the band before we were an item. Then we split up and then got back together, but all while being in the band together. You just call it Revenders, right? Carry on. How did that happen? Well, no, we I mean, no, 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 I don't, don't need the, the blow by blow on how it happened. But how was that? That weird, period oh, where dead weird, yeah. Oh, oh. Like because I went when I was sexist. Like she's a great musician, you know, in her, in her own right. So I didn't want to sack her because we weren't together. But then she got another boyfriend and got dead jealous. So we're like, I've got to get back together, haven't we? So, and I got another girlfriend. It was a bit of a mess. All a bit like Dan and, uh, Den, Den and Angie, you know what I mean? Like a bit of a mess. But now it's fine. She couldn't go to Thailand because we were, she, we got pregnant with our second child and they have the Zika virus there. So I had to leave her behind, which everyone else had their like kids and the wives and everything. Now we're on my own, which, no, I had our Chris. Took my brother. Are you going to take her out there though? We're going on holiday. Oh, are you? Yeah. Yeah, well, oh. we've had a slight issue, actually, because I've almost fell foul of the Thai Lessie Majesty laws, which are really strict, and there were a bit of worry that like the album title, The Death of a King, might be offensive, but as it turns out, the Thai people understand, and it's all right, but for a while, we thought there were going to be a problem with his holiday, yeah. Because of the name of the album, The Death of a King? Yeah, like, imagine getting arrested for Lessie <laughs> Majesty in the, in the 21st century. Awful, right? So, yeah, the best just to avoid all mention of him and not, not to be disrespectful to him or anything like that, you know. Absolutely. Well, let's, before we get into the, the future and the new record, let's talk about the past because uh, I chatted to you first, I think it was 2008, uh, and we had a chat, and I've, I I listened back and I've got some quotes of things you said. And oh, I, want, I want to see if you think how relevant these still are. No, no, you, you don't have to worry. These are all right. You said then, where are the rebels, man? Mm. So you said that almost 10 years ago. Mm. How, do you, how do you feel like that is nine years on? Better, a lot better. Grind for the start, completely. Not necessarily Stormzy so much, but that boy better know thing. Sleeve of mods, cabbage. Yeah, there's more, miles more rebels. I were on my own for a while. Good. Uh, you, you said collaboration is what music is all about. Yeah, and I continue to think that, you know, I go abroad to make you know, this album, the last album, when we get involved. I go to Africa doing Damon Albarn Africa Express thing. I do a thing called Unconvention in Place of War, where I go into like, places that have had wars and make tunes. Like, I'm into that musical travelling thing. You know, I'm like Michael Palin plus tunes, <laughs> plus bangers. <laughs> um, you said you're never going to... This was on album number two, I think. Well, I think album number two was about to come out. Mm. Uh, you said, I'm never going to make the same record twice. No, and I did. I did three and four. Four's rubbish. It's so rubbish. Like five and six. One, two, five and six are so good. And then four's just so bad, man. So I did. I, yeah. That's like Star Wars, isn't it? Phantom Menace. Yeah, you know terrible. what I mean? You get a bit complacent. You know, you start like making a few mistakes. You start getting inebriated, let's say, with the wrong thing. And uh, next thing, you're making absolutely bob our music. Yeah, so we've come out of that now. I feel good. That said, you have made a record, like you say, you, you've travelled, you made a record in Jamaica, you made one in Thailand now, so like, you need a trilogy of travelling records. It's funny you should say that, there is a trilogy, it is a trilogy, in my head it's a trilogy, I'm looking into Brazil, mm. I've been in Brazil twice, but I fancy it like, I'm not, I don't, you've got to be careful, you don't want to get stuck culturally appropriated or anything like that, I don't want to start like, going off like Shakira and something, you know what I mean, like going all Colombian or something about it, but equally... I think you can go and get in a zone in a place and have a good time, you know. Some carnival drums going on. That, that would a little bit of that, right. you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right with that. And you said uh, you're not a faker. You're not going to just have a trendy haircut or behave how you're meant to behave. Look at that. That's <laughs> that's a lot of things. It's not a trendy haircut, is it, pal? Uh, no, I'm not a faker. I've always been me. Never sold out. I've had like five top 20 albums on independent record labels. Continue to be my own man. Say what I want. Do all right. On a level. Never going to be you two, but... Who would want to be Bono? <laughs> you know. Let, let's uh, so looking back again. When you look back, tell me about the lean times. We can you remember like carting a 
a rusty old wagon around. Mm, there's been two lean okay. times. So before we started, obviously, no one cared who we were. That were lean. Like, really lean. Like, holes in my shoes walking home from town because I couldn't get home to my mum's kind of lean. Then after the second album, when I'd completely lost my mind, offended every single person in the entire world, all my band hated me, everyone hated me, I went mental. And that were lean because band didn't do anything for about 18 months and it were just, I thought it were over. And for whatever reason, I've come back. And even the critics who, let's be right, hated us, they love us now. So, yeah, it's like second coming of uh, Revenant of the Makers, really. It's good. And on the new record, then, Death of a King, it's some filthy rock and roll tunes. Yeah, there's a mix. There's like, I mean, it's very eclectic. Um, there's an old, and that, the crucial thing is I don't sing every song anymore. Because if you, I, I was like listening to Beatles one day and had this revelation that what made them great was the fact that McCartney would do one, then Harrison would do one. They were like, oh, it's more in, you can do more if you've got more voices. So all literally, apart from the drummer, who's got a voice like back end of her. But does have a gorgeous drum Lovely kit. drum kit, That's great drummer, beautiful. lovely lad. But honestly, you don't hear him sing, pal. It's not a 40. But apart from him, rest of the band all sing songs, lead vocals and stuff. And it makes for a bit of more of an eclectic sound and stuff. You know what I mean? And I think... It works. Like last two albums, this one coming out and last one mirrors. People just love them. It's great. 